Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to be talking about um, a few things that I find good and a few things that I find bad about the Samsung Galaxy A51. So let's just get into things that I consider to be a bit bad and off-putting. Um, so the first one is video quality. So um, as you expect, the video quality from this budget phone is what you'd think you'd get from a budget phone. Um, when I tested it, I just found it to be um, like when it's focusing on a moving subject, you can see it always trying to, to find that focus and it's too off-putting when you're watching the video back. So another thing is this um, camera on the front. Um, it has like a silver ring around it and it always kind of like reflects in the light and it just puts me off sometimes when I'm looking at the screen. Um, you do kind of get used to it but when you've got it in like a certain light it does reflect and it's a bit off-putting when you're trying to look at something on the screen. Um, it does, the next thing is it does feel cheap but that's something you can soon get you know get used to because you're just going to put a plastic case on it anyway so that's kind of a bit like a hit and miss sort of thing and um, it's definitely not as heavy as the flagship phones and the next thing is the vibration motor is absolutely awful it's so loud and it you can just tell it's it's from a, a budget device. I just can't say how horrible it is, but we'll just leave that there. Um, um, I love the fact that the design, you know, it's got the edge-to-edge -edge display. You, you know, it looks like a phone from 2020. Not like the iPhone SE where it, you know, it looks like a phone from 2016. Um, and I do kind of like the fact that you don't have to like baby it. You know, you can use it without a case or a screen protector and uh, and everything like that. And you can throw it around a bit and, and stuff like that because it's like between... 200 and 300 pound you know it's not like you've just paid 1300 pound and you think oh well you know well if I break it I'm not going to be able to get another one whereas this is a bit like mm, yeah you know it's two three hundred pound you know which some people do find a lot of money but you kind of understand after you've used a flag flagship device and you come back to this one um as I said this device is only between 200 and 300 pound here in the UK um it's always changing in price so that's another plus for the the A51 um, and the fact that it has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and it also has fast charging as well um, is another big plus as from like you know you've got your iPhone SE with it's like 1850 or whatever it is and you think well you know well this is cheaper and it's got 4500 milliamp hour battery it definitely gets you through out the day um so the fast charging is at 25 watt as well so that's definitely another plus so um as you know the, these good and bad things are gonna vary on you on the type of person that you are you know you might find some of the good things that i've mentioned to be bad or you might find the bad things that I mentioned to be good. You know, everybody has their own opinion. You know, it. Um, you know, it. You know, it's it's one of them. It's one of them. So um, let me know uh, what you think about this video. You know, if you've got an A fifty one, let me know what you like, or let me know if you agree with some of the things that I've said. Um, but it, it's definitely a great device, you know, if your kids need a device um, 
and they're not really bothered if it's an iPhone or not, then yeah, this is, you know, it's, this is one to get. Um, it's got a good battery, fast charge and you know, all that. Um, kids these days aren't really, really bothered, but I know a lot of them are more into iPhones and stuff. Um, oh, it's great for like grandparents and stuff like that if they don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.